Hi, it's Dwyer. It's Saturday morning, September 14th, 2024. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Also, bettingangle.us, a free site. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Just a couple of quick points here. First, baseball. We're now heading into the second half of September, right? You're betting, you need to not just bet on the best teams. You need to also keep an eye on the best situations, right? Because understand, <clears throat> teams that have guarantees are in a much better position in futures betting than better teams that don't. So in baseball right now, you're trying to fine-tune your futures exposure, right? The Atlanta Braves are probably a better team than the Milwaukee Brewers. Folks, Atlanta right now still is trying to make the playoffs. The Milwaukee Brewers with a 10-game lead in their division, even though they're not as good as the Phillies or the Dodgers, just understand, Milwaukee, if you... Just have a few dollars and you're thinking, do I go Atlanta or do I go Milwaukee? Go with the team that practically is already in the playoffs. Go with the Brewers, right? I'm not here to tell you the Brewers are a better team than Atlanta. But what I am here to tell you is that the Brewers can do things to prepare for the playoffs. They're not going to use a lot of mental energy trying to make the playoffs, Right? Their games aren't must-win games at this point. So they can rest guys. Right, They can set up their rotation. They can spend time studying the teams that they would have to face in the playoffs. All of that means a lot. A lot of these teams that you know have to go on runs, have to make sure they make the playoffs in the last half of the last month, right, regular season. Uh, they're exhausted by the time they get to the uh, playoffs. They're on an emotional roller coaster. Not only that, you, the gambler, really aren't being properly compensated for the risk when you bet on a team that still has to work in the last few weeks of the season to make the playoffs. You're better served knowing that you're at least in the playoffs. You know that now with the Milwaukee Brewers. Right? Just food for thought. Let's shift gears. Let's talk football. News is breaking that a guy on my fantasy team, and folks, it's killing me, Christian McCaffrey, the reigning AP NFL Offensive Player of the Year from last year, right? The rushing champion. He's going to be placed on IR. So he's going to miss the next four weeks of the season. Folks, that's great news. If you're a San Francisco 49er, future's better. That's great news. Folks, 17-game seasons are tough. Right? Teams with superstars, <clears throat> Pat Mahomes, Christian McCaffrey, um, they really want to save these guys for the games that matter. Right? The Niners with McCaffrey, even though he has a great backup, but the Niners with McCaffrey are a much stronger team in general, right? Because McCaffrey catches passes. McCaffrey is a home run threat from the running back position. Well, let's look at the next four games <clears throat> that the 49ers have. Folks, they're playing on the road against a team they should beat, Minnesota. Right? Understand, McCaffrey's backup for the year is averaging over five yards a carry. Now, the game after that is going to be tough because it'll be the second consecutive road game the 49ers play. And they'll be playing a team that knows them. Right? Not a team in the other conference that's going to be surprised by how good certain players are. No, they're going to be playing the Rams. Right? Sean McVay has already won a Super Bowl. Right, you know, um, the Rams have a veteran quarterback, Matthew Stafford. He sees the Niners two times every year. 
He's not going to be surprised by their defensive schemes. He already knows who Nick Bosa is. Right? I'll agree. Week three of this season, the second week of McCaffrey's IR stint, is a tough game. Niners going to the Rams. Right? In week three. That's a tough game. But understand, the Niners should be 2-1 and one after that game if they lose. Right? If they win then folks, you're looking at a team headed for the playoffs because I believe that would be a 3-0 and start. The team they play in week four, they play at home against the currently surprising New England Patriots. Folks, that's a Patriot team with a new coach, an unsettled position at quarterback. Uh, Jacoby Brissett is really a placeholder. Uh, I expect the Patriots to finish the season under 500. They beat a Cincinnati Bengal team that had a very rusty Joe Burrow. Um, you know, a game that, quite frankly, Bengal fans might have overlooked. If New England is still a thing in week four of this season, the uh, Niners are not going to overlook them, right? Then, of course, you get to week five and folks they play in my opinion the weakest team in the division the Arizona Cardinals right say what you want about you know how good Arizona looked for most of the game uh, well into the second half against the Buffalo Bills especially when compared to of course the uh, Miami Dolphins in week two but just understand um, Arizona is an NFC team Right? Early in the season when teams from one conference are playing teams from another conference that they don't normally play, there's a lack of familiarity. I'm not putting too much stock in that week one game. Arizona, which Arizona lost, right? But they were competitive against the Bills. I'm not putting too much stock in that game. I think that the 49ers at home against the Arizona Cardinals beat the Cardinals. Right? So just understand, I believe the Niners go at least 3-1 and one over the next four games that Christian McCaffrey is going to miss. Right? That's Minnesota on the road, the Rams on the road, then New England and Arizona at home. So if the Niners are three games above 500 when McCaffrey returns, right? If they're four and one, <clears throat> or if they're five and oh, five games above five hundred, <clears throat> then you're gonna have a situation where McCaffrey will already be out of the running to repeat as NFL rushing champion. So there won't be pressure to play him every down. He has a great backup, right? A great backup. And, of course, McCaffrey will only be playing at most 12 games of a 17-game season. Right? So, in my eyes, he'd be back for the big games. Understand, the first three games that the Niners play after the next four weeks will be Seattle in Seattle. Right? That's a tough game. But understand, Pete Carroll's no longer there. Understand, Russell Wilson, who was a nemesis in the Niner side, he's no longer there, right? I do like Geno. I do like Geno. Seattle and Seattle, I'll concede, is a tough game. Then they come home. This is one of the secrets to the Niner season. Why, you should have futures money on them. They come home to play two of the toughest teams they're going to play all year. The reigning Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs. That game happens on October 20th. And then the Dallas Cowboys, who I'm telling you are undervalued by the public right now. Right? And that game, too, would be at home. And, of course, that game would be the last game before the Niners have a bye week. So the Niners would be able to overextend themselves in that game knowing that they're going to be able to rest. So McCaffrey, after missing the first five weeks of the season, 
would come back for three games and then have a bye week. Right? So just food for thought. The Niners are incredibly well positioned. There's a possibility that when McCaffrey comes back, they're four and one. Few teams are going to be as well positioned. Right? Keep in mind, some of the big teams that we all assume are going to be competing late in the season. Teams like the Ravens have already lost the game. Right? Also, Christian McCaffrey does have an injury history. But let's just say <clears throat> if he misses the first five weeks of the season, he's going to be more rested than much of the Niner competition. Also, understand too, if the Niners start the first five games of the season, they're already 1-0. 4-1 uh, and one or 5-0. and oh. Right? There's a chance that the Niners could clinch a playoff spot. As it was, they played at home during the playoffs last year. Right? There's a chance that they could clinch home field advantage with weeks to spare. And that might actually enable them to rest McCaffrey even more. So that a guy who relies on power and speed is actually among the league's most rested players for the playoffs, especially if they're the one seed and they end up with a bye week. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours to sum up this video in baseball. I'm not saying the Brewers are close to the best team in the league, right? I don't place them on the pedestal. I place the Dodgers, the Phillies, right? But what I am saying is, they're a bigger lock to make the playoffs, folks. They have a 10-game lead in their division. Right? If your future is better, you're getting great odds on them right now. At least sprinkle a little bit as a hedge on the Milwaukee Brewers. Second play, the Niners. Folks, it's all breaking for them. right? Um, don't think for a second that Christian McCaffrey is badly hurt. You want to view this as a guy with a tender uh, calf who the team realizes isn't needed for games against the New England Patriots, the Arizona Cardinals, the Minnesota Vikings. I'll agree that Ram game is tough. Have a futures, well, I have a futures on the 49ers. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.